Hello friends and welcome to Android Implementations. In this video, we will be demonstrating on the feature of Shared View Transition in Android. This has been added in Android L, in which you can share a view with two different within two different activities. And when you when you do the transition, it it do, it does a smooth animation, a smooth transition animation. So let's just check it out. This demo, which is on the developer's website. In this, the contact image is being shared between the two different activities, as in the list view and the detail view, has the same view of contact image, and it's been shared smoothly with within the activity. So this gives an add-on feature, add-on value to your application, and your app looks more materialistic. So let's just do this. This uh, adding this to your app is very easy. You just have to follow three simple steps, and this can come into your application. So let's just let's just do it. So I have this standard demo application in which I have a text view, I have an image view and a text view and I click anywhere, we go to a different screen and we get an, this detail view. So this is a standard scrolling view template from Android Studio. So let's just add that feature to this application, the this demo. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just three simple steps. So first step is to declare the sharing variables as in this image view will be shared with this image view on the second activity. So you have to declare the sharing views in both the layouts. And this can be done with the tag name, transition name. And you just have to give a name to this view. So right now I've given this as my image. The same thing should be defined in your second activity. So in this This is the image view which I have. So I just name them, name that view same to what I what I have with the shared element. So we just name it as my view, my image. Okay, so this is the first step. Second step is to add the values to the bundle. So you have to pass the views through the calling act calling intent to the calling activity. So you need to uh, and th this is the standard intent. You just need to make it activity option compact and it's make scene transition element in which you have to pass your activity to the context okay there are two different two more parameters that you have to pass the first one is the view that you have that you will be sharing the object of the view so let's just so find view by the r dot id dot image view and the second thing is the tag name that you have been associated to this image view so as we had added the tag transition name as my image the same should be passed here and this bundle should be sent as this object should be sent, sent as bundle to the to this intent so that's it this is the second step that you have to do and the third step is to just declare these styles and make Android aware that th there will be a transition element transition between in this activity. So we just add a window transition window activity transition and that should be true. Yeah. So that's it. Th these are the three three steps that you have to follow. And you have to do nothing in the calling activity. That's in the sorry in the called activity. It's just that you need to have this tag name. So let's just run this demo, and I guess that's all that we want. Okay, so the application has been run, and yeah, that's it. So I have a heavy emulator, so just ignore the job but yeah when you click on the end click on the image view the view is being shared and you can see a smooth transition element between the two activities so yeah that's what we wanted and we got it with three simple steps uh, there's an another scenario in which you need to pass two or multiple views between the activities that, that it has a, a slightly different approach a very small change but let's let's do it in, 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 our, in our demo we have an image view 
and a text view. So let's just trans do the transition for the image view as well as of, as well as this text view. So we have to repeat the first step again. We just need to in the main activity we'll just declare the text view also and I will just set it as my title and I want to share this view with the title of this point view. Yeah, this is my title. So I have given the I've, I've done my first step. The sec, there's a slight change in the second step. Right now, while making the option compact active uh, object, we pass the view and the tag here itself. Instead, we could just make pairs of it. There is this object and we say the view comma string. sorry pair dot create and the first one is the view object the second element is the tagging and we have to pass this object here so right now we just have one single image, one single object. Let's do the second one for the text view. And I have to tag as my title to it. So pass this. Similarly, you can just keep adding more and more paths to this as, as with all the multiple views that you want to share. So yeah, this is the only change that you have to do when you want to share multiple views between two different activity. So let's just compile this. Okay, so let's try it out. Okay, so yeah, we did get the transition. I, my layouting is not correct, but if you do it in the light way, you can have, you can see, yeah, it's, it's visible that my text view is being shared between the two different activities. So that's it guys. This is the small steps that you have to follow and you can get the smooth materialistic animation in your application easily. Um, okay, that's it. I'll wrap up this video. If you have any doubts, any questions, any suggestions, please drop it into the comments. Or if you want any specific kind of demo from me, do let me know. I'll come back with in the in the best manner. So. That's it and all the best.